started to do a little bit to this guy in the building here. This is a, a hen house. And um, I think they have lines across like this. You gotta get things organized. Get them all set up before you start details. Okay, let's see. This had a door here. Comes down here like this. And here I'm gonna have some little stones. Better. That one doesn't do too good. suggestion right right now. That's all it is. When you start putting details in. All the details are gonna go right in here. Okay, there's gonna be some chickens in here. Um kind of a board loose right in here. charcoal uh, pencil and I'm using this and I've already done some of this drawing on here uh, like this I put some of this drawing in here all of this in here so I know where I'm going and um, when you use charcoal like that then you can just take um, some water plain water and you can come down and you see what happens. You wet it and you get the charcoal comes dark. So you can do the drawing and then wet it and, on, and have the detail on the barn. And this barn is kind of you know, kind of beat up. See how that brings out all the detail? And uh, this door down here has got to be taller than the, than the man, so I'm going to have to make that bigger. And I put in some of the rocks here. One way of doing it. It's it's nice and and um, gives you some of the detail without having to paint it in. Now this here has got to be. I haven't done much to the side of, and uh, I have put some over here. This. You just wet it. it. Changes the, the color too. If you want it dark, you see, bright red. Just kind of put some of that bright red right in the barn here. Uh, this is a Venetian red. Some. 
called Italian Venetian Red, and I just thought I'd try a little bit on there. It's kind of a nice color. Kind of a barn color. This is just a, a glaze, a Venetian glaze, and I'm putting over this. A little bit of, of that charcoal on there. And I, I've got the chickens there. That would be the last thing I'm going to put in. Um, now I think what I'm going to do, and, and there, but um, I, I'm changing my mind a little bit. And I'll show you how you can change your mind when you're doing a snow picture. Um, I use this bee proof white. I know most people don't like to use white, but I'm going to be using a lot of white on this anyway, and, and even some gesso, because I'm covering up a lot of it. And I'm afraid that, um, like I said, I can just come in here and cover these up right now. I'm just going to have those trees there. This cover is pretty good. You have to use quite a bit of it. And I'll be using some other colors in there too, up here on the roof. A patch of snow. And if you're going to have it up there, maybe have some coming down like that. Break up that line and even break up this line. You want to think shapes. You don't want the same shape. Okay. Maybe just a little bit. Like this. Person, I've got to use a smaller, smaller brush on that. So. Maybe a little bit of no one would have really looked at better than the man. I'm going to keep and get my charcoal uh, pencil out again. And I'm going to keep, kind of keep within the same kind of a format. And I'm going to do this with this and then put this water on here. And 